Hey guys, Scott here, Go Kart Masters Academy. Uh, I got a um, Trailmaster mid here in the shop today, and uh, I want to show you how to replace the belt on it and also service the clutch. And uh, if you're replacing the belt, uh, then it would probably be a good idea just to go ahead and service the clutch. You'll already have everything off and uh, ready to go. And uh, servicing the clutch on it, uh, I noticed on this particular card, I went out and test drove it and it seemed to uh, uh, not get up and go uh, like it should, and uh, it seems to hesitate once you hit the gas to, to really have that low end torque. And so I wanted to pull it off and check it. I suspected that either the belt was bad or the clutch needed to be serviced, and so we serviced the clutch on it here. And uh, I'll show you how that's done, and uh, it needs to be done on a regular basis on your mid carts. And you may ask how regular? Well, it just depends on how much you ride your cart. And especially if you start noticing some low end torque or some torque uh, acting a little funny, clutch maybe slipping or whatever, uh, then I would go ahead and do this. All right, so here we have the back of the mid here. And we're gonna have to remove this, this side cover here in order to do that. I've already removed these bolts here, uh, but you'll have one screw down here at the bottom. You'll have one screw up here uh, on this L bracket. That actually screws into the side of the muffler there, side of the engine. And then right up front here, we'll also have a, a bolt. And uh, be careful when you pull this bolt off, so you do, you do have this washer back here, uh, this spacer rather, that'll come off. And so after we loosen those three bolts there, we'll pull your side cover off here. And after your side cover is off, uh, you're gonna have one bolt here holding your clutch on. I just took it off, so it's already loose. Uh, you'll have, you'll take, you use your impact, your 10 millimeter, and I take this bolt off here. And then this is your main clutch here, your primary clutch. This is called your secondary clutch. And obviously this is your belt. And uh, these are, uh, it's gonna look a little bit different here uh, in, inside of it. The belt's gonna be different than on a reverse model. This is a non-reverse model. So the belt's gonna be a different size. And also there's gonna be something different inside here, I'll show you. Uh, but this black washer piece, uh, this whole piece will come off together. Usually you can just grab the whole thing and pull it off as such. And so on some of the other models, the reverse models and some other models, uh, this is a new thing that we've seen here recently, is this bearing that's inside here. So this bearing, instead of having a little um, gold spacer, and I'll show you the gold spacer in here in a minute, uh, you'll have this little bearing and uh, you may uh, not have this bearing here, and you may have the gold spacer, and I'll show you uh, what that looks like. But if you do have that gold spacer, I would take it off and clean this shaft off here with some brake fluid, brake cleaner rather. And uh, But uh, your belt here, um, we'll show you about that here in a minute. So if you made it to this point and you need to replace your belt, you can just go ahead and take your belt off. And I put it back on. And so... This is the belt that comes on this cart here, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with an upgraded belt uh, if we have any more left in here in stock. Um, but this is a, uh, the belt that comes on it, and it's a okay belt, uh, but the belts that we sell on our website, gokartmasters.com, uh, they are an American-made belt and a lot better quality than these. This right here is the belt that we sell, and uh, it is, uh, so you can see it's there, made in America. And uh, if I believe this one says it here, small letters there, but you can says this side to the engine. It's not going to run good if you put this belt on backwards. And so this is the belt uh, for this cart here. And so we'll go ahead and replace it while we're at it. But the clutch, so this is your, again, this is your primary clutch here. And you can take this clutch apart, so this outer piece comes off, right? And you'll have this bushing, this slide in the middle. And uh, usually if you tap on it, it'll, it'll come off. I'm trying to hold uh, one hand here. All right, so your clutch will come apart into these several different pieces. Your outer piece here, out of the casing, you have again this slide that sits down in the grooves here.
right there. This is the outer piece. This is the side that your belt rides on. And so as you're driving, this piece right here, it's constantly moving in and out and sliding inside of here. So what happens off the time is that piece right there will build up, take up with dirt, and it'll stop sliding the way that it needs to slide. And so what you wanna do is, once you take these three pieces apart again, it comes uh, just like this. You can see the cutouts on each side where it'll fit just like that. You can also see the keyway that's in there. That'll line up with the keyway on there once you put everything back together. So that comes off. The outer piece comes out. Your slide here comes out. And so what you want to do to service this is obviously take it apart. And you want to clean it off with brake cleaner. And then you want to put a light film of grease on this piece here all the way around. You also want to clean inside of here where it rides with brake cleaner as well. Now this one actually wasn't too bad uh, whenever I took it apart here. So we'll slide that back together after we clean it, after we put the light film and grease on it. Slide that back together. You'll put this outer piece back on and you'll set this up on your cart um, after you replace your belt. All right, so I got the, the new belt. The belt that I just had was actually the wrong belt. Uh, and if you can see, if you can look down this belt right here, you can see one side of the, the cogs, and the cogs are these uh, pieces in the belt here, is pretty straight, right? It's up and down, it's flush. The other side is at an angle. So this side right here angles in, I'm exaggerating there, but it angles in that way. The flat part of the belt, that's the piece that you want to put towards the engine. And you want to put that piece towards, towards the engine there. So on our belts here, it actually says on them, uh, if you can read that, this side towards the engine. If you're putting your old belt back on or maybe you bought uh, another generic belt somewhere and it doesn't have that, uh, you definitely want to make sure that you're putting that flat piece towards the engine, towards the inside of um, the engine there. Just like so. Again, if you have the, uh, if you're doing this on a reverse model or you have the, uh, the piece in here that's a little gold piece, take it off, make sure it's not damaged, clean that shaft as well. This one has a bearing here that spins along with the belt, and so we're good on that. Then we wanna grab our a clutch. Again, with that keyway that is in there, you wanna make sure you line your keyway up with the keyway that's in the shaft there. Slide it on, and you want to make sure that the outer piece right here is lined up, that you don't put it on crooked, um, but again, that it lines up the way that it's supposed to. And then your black piece here, spacer or washer, whatever you want to call it, uh, that it's lined up in the keyway. Put your bolt in. And as you tighten that down, you do want to make sure that, that spacer there that holds in holds in the place, and then it'll kind of press itself in there as you as you tighten it down. Now we like to do this with an impact. It is 20, 23, so most people has impacts, and if you don't, that's okay. You can use a regular socket, regular wrench. Tighten it down. Don't over tighten it. And just like that. We'll go ahead and put our outer cover on and then we'll crank it up and test it. All right, guys, that's it. That's all you have to do to replace your belt and service your clutch. Again, you do want to do this on a regular basis. It's going to prolong the life of your belt and keep you having fun. That way you're not breaking belts uh, maybe as often or wearing them out. Uh, we will leave the link to the description in the description of our belts for our mid XRX reverse models and the non-reverse models. We'll leave both of those in the description. 
And uh, you should find that we have deals if you buy two belts, then you get a discount on that 